All right, well, all right so we're just going to finish up the boat. Uh, last uh, few little bits and pieces are going on onto it. So, uh, sure, let's just go. So the engine air intake housing, port and starboard. And what I did was I painted these and now I put a clear coat on as the rest of the boat already has a semi-gloss clear coat applied. So we're just going to, um, now that the, the clear has dried, I'm just going to go ahead and stick these on. Well, we were completely unscripted. Never had a single lesson. All right, so that's back, that's front, left and right. And back side. So we're just going to drop a little bit of glue on the bottom and on the back. And nestle that right in there where it goes. Make sure it's clear of the door. There we go. That's probably about where we want it. Alright. And that one is right about where we want it. Okay. This is a kind of a carry-all uh, toolbox situation. And we'll just stick that kind of right next to the mast. Not against it, but kind of equal between the mast and the uh, air register there. Okay. center. And the bow bit. We picture this this bit right in between the railings. I'm going to put it out just a bit out in front. Now this is going to maybe highlight a bit the fact that my railings aren't quite centered, but uh, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I think before I stick this on, I want to put the... Uh, I'll put all this on first. So we need to get this thing centered and set back where it belongs, which is right about there. It's pretty much perfect. Hard to see, but that's about where it needs to be right there. I do a good deal of my work just by eye, by the seat of my pants. right there. Now here I can see where they've joined the two halves of the uh, center deck right at the end. If I look at the end, oops, almost knocked everything over. Uh, 
So I, I know where the center line is without drawing a pencil line. And that's pretty good. See the hatch is offset just a bit from center. But again, you know, I, I, I wasn't real concerned about absolute perfection. I just wanted to get something that would look decent. And I'm going to wait for this to cure all the way before I set the anchor in. And the last bit is the uh, flashing light he is a policeman after all he needs his little uh, beacon just need to drop the glue on that and then we'll set that right dead center here I don't know if you can see that with the camera and everything else in the way so I pre-grooved the bottom of the beacon so it would rest um, onto that crossbar. Since the crossbar is round, we just cut a groove uh, longitudinally underneath the light so that it would uh, rest, instead of just sitting on top of that round bar, it would actually nestle a little bit on, into that groove. Nestling is good just gives you more surface area for the gluing to take place. Alright, so we're just about finished. Uh, once I can stand the anchor up in there, uh, it goes right in next to the hauser. Um, it'll be done, and then I can get to work on the trailer. Alright, so I'm just going to set this uh, right here for now. And uh, well that's, that's our Coast Guard uh, utility boat. Pretty much, uh, pretty much complete. All right. I know there weren't as many videos, and probably not as enough information contained and chronicled here, but you know, we did the best we could given the circumstances and the operator error. Uh, anyway, but it is what it is, and. Um, and you can see now we've got a we've got a decent outcome. 41 foot uh, Coast Guard utility boat. And again, that's going to all this all going to be mounted onto a trailer, as if for uh, transport from the factory to the uh, to the sea. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.